Welcome back to Pink Sunday, the best place to learn table tennis. A day in the life of Shanghai Table Tennis School. This is the film of Tony Ma, one of the participants of the summer training camp last year. He has kindly accepted to share this video on my channel. There are some interesting videos on Tony Ma channel. I recommend you to go there to watch and to understand the training camp in China. The link of his channel is given in the video description. This year, you can also apply for the scholarship of the summer training camp. I have talked about this in the previous video. Look above. By watching my video, some players have applied for the scholarship. And Miss Su, the official organizer of CTTC Chinese Table Tennis College, has emailed me five days ago. Dear Embrathic, thank you for promoting this project. I have already got some players' application. Thanks. We will select and tell them. Thanks for helping us. So firstly, I will present you the internal tournament of the member of the training camp. Tony Ma has played in the top group. His ranking point is about 2,000 or 2100 US rating points and then you will see a daily life of Tony Ma during one month of Shanghai University of Sports in China. Let's go! Good morning guys, we're here in Shanghai at the Shanghai University of Sport and so I was just at Zhengding for about a month and a half and then I came here right straight after that and this is basically a, a program sponsored by ITTF and the China Table Tennis College so this is a one month program with some other foreigners and basically just staying in a dorm with a roommate, Jeffrey, and then here's the pamphlet, it's called the Shanghai Summer School Table Tennis Program. So it's about 7.45, I'm gonna go eat breakfast very soon, and the first thing on the schedule is a morning class, which is tactical, it, it, it differs from day to day, but today is a tactical analysis class. And then that is from about 9 to 10.30. Then we'll do training in the afternoon. So I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a screenshot of the schedule on the screen. So yeah, the room is just shared. It's like a college style dorm. Uh, you have your own shower though and toilet. And yeah, there's a laundry. There's a public laundry downstairs. So I'll open this back up when we're at breakfast. Uh, we've arrived at the canteen for breakfast. I got a little bit of oatmeal porridge thing and then some fried dumplings. And this Hi is guys. Ryan. Yep. This is the cafeteria canteen. 
So I'll bring you guys to the next class. This is the long walk from the dormitory to our China Table Tennis College building. And oh my gosh, we're about to get swarmed by military training. Anyways, so this program is very heavily emphasizing the cultural exchange. So this morning we have a calligraphy class. So yeah, it wasn't, yesterday we had the tactical analysis. Today we have a calligraphy drawing class. And yeah, so, so pretty much there's two sessions a day. One session is like a cultural aspect kind of thing. Second session is training. Some days is both training, but usually there's at least one cultural class. So I'll show you guys the class in a second. It's about, the class starts at nine, so it's about 8.50. class ended at 11 and so now it's just free time until 2.30 which is our training session so I'll just hit the gym this is a pretty beat down gym but there's, there's not much it looks very old there's like no dumbbells but there is a better gym in the ping pong room but that one doesn't have much chest stuff so I'll just use this one for today Finished at the gym, so here back at the cafeteria for lunch. Uh, just got two little dishes of vegetables, and I'll probably go outside and get some street food in a bit. It's currently about 11:30, 12 ish. So then after I eat, I'll uh, show you guys what I do next. I'm getting some street food right now. This is right outside our gate where we live. It's 12.30 and it's free time. Anything out with these souls? This is the this is the lounge. This is an American. 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 Vietnamese. American. Chinese born American. And some other Wushu people in the back. Oh. Yep, so free time until 2.30. Okay, practice started at 2.30, but I didn't get much of the training, so uh, it's break time, it's 4 o'clock now, and it's, yeah, it's break time. I'm gonna, here are the tables, yep. I'm gonna play a quick little practice game against this guy. Okay. Seven-ish. Just finished uh, the private lesson, and the private lessons are obviously, obviously not everyone has a private lesson. But I just found my own coach just from asking around, and he's just one of the students at the school. So that's an hour every day, and then just so usually that takes up the dinner time. So I can't go to the canteen anymore. So I just walk around, get whatever, and usually it's this neuromian. So, uh, 
Yep, after this, the, the day is pretty much over, free to do whatever you want, and uh, I'll come back when I finish this. So going back and editing, I realized that I forgot to explain exactly what this program is. So this is Kevin from America. And yeah, so Kevin, what what is this program about? How, how did you get into the program? So the first time it's free. Right. When you comment the program. Right, right. Who is who is the program for? college students, right? Yeah. <laughs> so how, how did you get in? Uh, my coach. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then, uh, how, how do you apply? Uh, I, my coach applied for Oh, okay, okay. So anyways, the, the typical applying procedure is you just fill out a short application online and then uh, they'll get back to you within two weeks. And they're not really too, they're not too strict on the, they don't care too much about your playing level because there's, there's beginners all the way until like top 100 in this, in this program. So there's like two Czech people who are professionals and there's people who are like US 1000 in this program. So your rating is not too important, but um, yeah, just, just if you apply, you have a pretty good chance to get in. So, but yes, as he said, you can only come here once for free. So this this trip for us is fully funded. If you want to come again, I think it's about fifteen hundred U.S. dollars. So one of the kids in the program right now, Kian, is on his second trip here because he enjoyed it so much last summer that he decided to come again. Uh, so that's just a quick snippet about the program.